Hey guys, welcome back to Dexter Ranch. Gonna be taking you guys with me to go do hay today. The cows are ready. Hopefully you guys are ready. So there's pros and cons to everything, but the pro to owning a smaller skid steer is that I can squeeze it through these tight spots in the shop, even with all my junk laying everywhere there, I can get it in and out. Uh, but the con of this size of skid steer is that it's rated to pick up 1300 pounds and these bales are weighing just a little over 1200 so I'm right at the max of what I can lift with this skid steer when I'm handling these bales and it, it just makes things feel a little bit uneasy uh, once you get that weight on there you're, you're kinda riding on the front tires a little bit more than what feels good so when you get going too fast or whatever you can feel the bale start to tip so I generally just take it slow and keep the bale low so that I can make sure that I don't uh, end up on the nose of this thing guys get back you gotta go you gotta go you gotta go go boy go 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 Go, 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 gotta go farther, go, go, now I have to try to get the skid steer through the gate before anybody runs back over here and film it, so we'll see if that happens. After I go through the gate here, I do just a little spin move to shut the gate by just hitting it with the side of the bale. And I've found that this is just the easiest and more importantly the quickest way to get it closed so that I don't have to worry about anybody running out. Uh, a lot of times, as soon as I get through the gate, they think that it's time to eat. Uh, they're gonna run up here in a minute and try to eat as I'm driving. Uh, and a couple of weeks ago, I was coming through the gate and they ran right at me and I was trying to shut the gate as quick as I could and I ended up just mangling up that gate. When we go back, you'll get a better view of the gate and I got it straightened out by hooking the skid steer onto it and pulling on it a little bit, but it still looks pretty bad. Uh, but they're, they're always trying to eat as I'm driving and especially right here when I start cutting the net wrapping off, uh, they're, they're always right there trying to eat it as I'm trying to do these things. It's not too bad, but from time to time it gets a little bit annoying. Especially the, the horned cattle, they'll get their horns wrapped around that netting and then I'll be sitting there playing tug-of-war with a cow that's got 
net wrap being hooked on its horns. time watching my channel and you're interested in learning more about Dexter cattle uh, go scroll through the videos on my channel uh, there's all sorts of videos like how much hay will a Dexter cow consume how much water will a Dexter cow consume uh, there's a whole package of videos uh, telling you how to go about buying your first Dexter cow and a lot more uh, so just go scroll through the videos and and if you have questions I'm sure you'll be able to find answers but if you're not able to find an answer to your specific question then leave your question in the comments of this video and I'll try to make a video answering your specific question That's all she wrote, guys. Not bad, huh? That was actually n not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to have all kinds of trouble trying to film it and uh, drive the skid steer, but it went pretty smooth there. So, anyways, I hadn't shown that. I used to do it with a hay dolly when I first started the YouTube channel. Just thought I'd show how it goes for me with the skid steer. So. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe to Dexter Ranch. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.